Hello, this is Mark Weirman, and today we're going to talk about Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law involves volume and pressure. As I move this plunger down, the gas pressure increases while the volume decreases. Now when I move this plunger up, the volume is going to increase and the pressure is going to decrease. That is Boyle's Law in a nutshell. Using Boyle's Law in this water bottle, if I increase the pressure on the outside, I make the box smaller, which increases the fluid pressure on the inside. If I took the cap off the top, that pressure would cause the water to fly out. Boyle's Law can be applied to the lung when we talk about pulmonary ventilation. Around the lung organ, we have the pleural sac, and here we see on the inside the lung. We, inside each of these areas, we have different types of pressure. In the pleural sac, we have the intrapleural pressure, and inside the lung, we're going to have the intrapulmonary pressure. On inhalation, the diaphragm contracts and moves inferiorly. The external intercostals will contract as well and bucket handle the ribs up and out. This causes the pleural box to get larger. As we learn in Boyle's Law, as the volume increases, the pressure will decrease. In the intrapleural space, the pressure decreases. This negative pressure causes a pull on the lung itself. Very similar to what you've probably felt when you've tried to move a glass upward on a wet table. This pull causes the lung box to get larger and as we learned in the Boyle's Law, as the volume increases, the pressure will decrease. The pressure will decrease to 759 millimeters of mercury and when you compare that to the atmospheric pressure on the outside of 760 millimeters of mercury, the air will get pushed into the lung. On exhalation, the diaphragm and the intercostals are going to relax, and this will cause the intrapulmonary sac to get smaller. As we learn in Boyle's Law, the smaller the box, the increase in pressure. This increase in intrapleural pressure is going to cause the push onto the lung and now the lung box is going to get smaller, which increases the intrapulmonary pressure. As the intrapulmonary pressure moves up to 761, the air is going to be pushed out to the lower pressure of 760 on the atmospheric pressure. A pneumothorax is a condition in which the pleural sac integrity is lost. In this example, a bullet has created a hole in the pleural sac. The atmospheric pressure of 760 millimeters of mercury will now rush into the pleural sac because it has a lower pressure. This will cause a push on the lung and increase the pressure on the lung. This pressure will cause the air to be exhaled out of the body. This is actually called a collapsed lung. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.